If you've just got this Motorola Edge 50 Fusion and already using an iPhone, and you want to transfer all your photos, videos, contact, or messages to this model, we're going to show you how you can share all your data from your old iPhone to your Motorola wirelessly without cable. If you have already set up your Motorola, you need to just factory reset it and then take it into setup mode if you want to transfer your iPhone to your model. And before we proceed, first, let's open up our iPhone. From here, let's go to the Photos app settings. And make sure Download and Keep Originals option is selected so that all your iCloud photos can be transferred in your model. So when your model is in setup mode, select Language and then press Start. I'm skipping this Connect to Mobile Network section. Now, when you're in the setup using another device, just select iPhone or iPad from this list. Then connect your nearby Wi-Fi by putting in the password. When prompted, just press accept and continue. And then if you want, you can log into your Gmail account. Press I agree. Now I'm skipping the setting up pin. When you are in this copy data from your iPhone or iPad section, just press next. Now as you can see, as prompted, if you wish, you can connect both of them with a Type-C to C cable and USB to Lightning, or you can use a converter because, you know, cable transfer is better if you have a huge amount of data. But since I'm going to do it wirelessly for this video, I'm going to just tap on Cable Doesn't Fit. And from this pop-up, I'm selecting Copy Without Cable. Now on here, you can either scan the QR code or on your iPhone, just go ahead and install the Android Switch app. When it's installed, just go ahead and open up the app and then accept the terms and condition and then tap on copy data allow and then just grab your iphone and scan this qr code that's appearing on your model and from this pop-up tap on join allow from this pop-up once again and as prompted pay attention to your iphone select which type of data you want to transfer from your iphone to your model and then press continue and then press continue once again allow full access if prompted once again, press allow full access to your photos and videos. And meanwhile, what you can do, there will be some more prompts on your Motorola. Just go ahead, keep following them one after another. And then press continue to the setup process. Some more prompt will appear. Just keep following them once more. Now as prompted on your iPhone, you can turn off iMessage or you can do it later. I'm just skipping it right now. It doesn't affect the transfer process. I'm just transferring all the photos and videos that are stored on my device, so I'm just going to tap on do it later. And here on my Motorola, there are some more prompts that I'll have to just go ahead and follow one after another. That's all. As you can see, these are all the data that I've selected and the copying is done. Just press done. That's a little prompt that how you can still transfer your iCloud photos and videos and stuff. Press OK. I'm just closing this app as prompted and then go ahead, finish the setup process by following some final prompts. When you're here, just tap on finish. Select go to my home screen. You're almost there. And then finally tap on go back. Now after the transfer process is complete, as you can see, all my iPhone photos and videos are on the Google Photos app and also Files app on my Motorola. And also I can see all my contacts are here along with the ones that saved to my Gmail since I've logged in with it. If you didn't log in, you'll still get all the contacts that's on your iPhone if you have selected it. If you had any problem during the transfer process, let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.